Today, we're going to talk about how we interpret some of the properties of Pearson's correlation coefficient. Now, Pearson's correlation coefficient is frequently referred to as the R value. And you can see that R value quite often when you're looking at models of relationships inside your calculator. Now, there are three properties of the R value or Pearson's correlation coefficient that are noteworthy. The first thing that we should note is that the values of R range from negative one through to positive one. They don't fall outside of this range. Now, because of this, the sign of our Pearson's correlation coefficient is very important and it can tell us the direction of the correlation that we're looking at. For example, if we had a positive sign, it would indicate that we've got a positive relationship between our two variables. Whereas, if we had a negative sign, it would indicate that we've got a negative correlation between our two variables. Where, if it's got no sign, it would mean that it's got no correlation, or our data points are just randomly scattered around the place. Now, the other important property of Pearson's correlation coefficient is its size. And its size tells us the strength of the relationship between our two variables. For example, if we were to have a value of positive one or negative one, we would say that there is a perfect, absolutely perfect correlation between our two variables. That would mean that every dot on that data point fit to a single linear line. But if it was very close to negative one or very close to positive one, let's say from 0 0.95 through to one or negative 0 0.95 through to negative one, whilst it isn't perfect, we would say that there is a very strong correlation whether it be positive or negative, between those variables. Now, the closer that you move to zero, or the further away that you move from negative one and positive one, the less strength there is in the correlation between the two variables at play. Remembering that zero indicates that there is no correlation. So the strength here, it just doesn't exist. When we're considering Pearson's correlation coefficient, it does depend on the circumstance, but we generally don't even consider a linear relationship at all if it's less than 0.7 or negative 0.7 respectively in the positive and negative direction. And even at that 0.7, negative 0.7 mark, we wouldn't say it's a very strong relationship at all. We'd say it's moderate, but not much more than that. But the three main things to remember about the properties of Pearson's correlation coefficient are they range from negative one through to positive one. The sign does indicate the direction, positive meaning that an increase in our explanatory increases our response, negative sort of meaning the opposite of that, an increase of our explanatory decreases our response, and zero meaning that there's no correlation between it at all. And the third is the size of our Pearson's correlation coefficient indicates the strength of our relationship. The closer it moves to zero, the weaker the strength, but negative one and positive one indicating that there is a perfect correlation between our two points.